Happy New Year! It's Sumika from the Face and the Method. I hope all of you welcome this year with joy, excitement, and love. Have you thought about what you want to create this year? What's your New Year's resolutions? How do you want to feel this year? What's your goal? Everything feels so possible right now, isn't it? Because we just started New Year fresh. So before I talk about 2019, I want to reflect my 2018. I'm not a kind of person who often look back, but sometimes it's good to think about what I accomplished and what I feel grateful for so that I can really appreciate what I have in my life. So looking back, my 2018, I feel so grateful. I turned 50 past October and I never thought 50 is this great. When I was younger, 50 seemed so far away. I could not imagine how I would feel or how I would look and it's not really bad. And I understand myself more than ever. I accept things more than ever. And the feeling of confident in a way, it's great. And the second thing I feel so grateful for is that I had the very first face yoga method retreat with practitioners from around the world with my team, face yoga method team. So 24 of us from 19 different countries gathered together in Croatia. It was like a dream. My dream came true. I got to know practitioners and of course I spent wonderful time with my team, but meeting students in person, just priceless. The third one is TCC. I feel so grateful. Teacher certification course for face yoga method really took off. I'm so grateful when I see my students or my certified teachers started teaching and then when they report their success or when they share the stories, their stories as a teacher, it just, it feels like that's something I wanted to do. I wanted to feel, I wanted to see, not just from my teaching, but from their teaching. They're teaching many students out there. They're doing TV shows, they're writing books. And I just feel like so grateful being able to see my certified teachers are doing great. It's like, ah, oh, I can't express how I feel about that feelings. It's almost like your child start doing something independently and you kind of sit back and watch how they do and when they do something, you feel like, ah, oh, yes, you did it, you did it. So if you're a parent, probably you understand that feeling, right? It's part of you, but it's not you, but you get such excitement from that. So these are three things I feel so grateful for last year. And how about this year? What I wanna create? I wanna create the life that I feel more balanced and I wanna learn more. Cause the more I learn, the more I feel I don't know. I wanna be growing as a person. And I want to be a best version of myself with my family, with friends, and also face yoga method of people like you. How about you? Write down what you want to create. Writing down is so powerful because when you write down, you're committing yourself physically and use the pen that you cannot erase. And by the end of that year, you can look back and feel more grateful for. So, Life you want to create starts right now because what you have right now used to be what you wanted to create, right? So what you want to create in the future is happening right now, this moment. Let's create the dream life you want to create. Let's have more fun. Life is so precious. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste your time and I want to feel this is the life I wanted to have. And I want you to feel the same way. 
If becoming face yoga method certified teacher is one of your goals this year, come and join me on this Sunday at noon for face yoga method teacher certification workshop. It's gonna be fun, okay? So let's have a lot of fun together. And thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me. And I'm gonna see you more often this year, okay? Mwah.